Hi, I'm Thea. And I'm Sorok. Welcome back to the Sorok Riser channel. Yes, and we're here on the Corral server in the Goblet. Right, we're in the Goblet. We are looking at Marquis Lancaster's private home. He calls it a cozy shack in the 7th Ward, Southwest mm. Subdivision. Plot 57. They say they've been working on it a really long time. We jump down here and take a look and see what this work has done. So far, right up front, we've got uh, green. Yeah. All the box planters. The lights and the partitions are Ooh, spread out nice. I like the stone pavers. Yeah, the pavers, yeah, they're they're uh, positioned neatly in front of the door. You never see that. Most people use them as a pathway or a walkway. Very unique. And then he's got a really nice plot in in the goblet. It's a small that overlooks the sky and the, the, the Thanalan plains below. So it's a really, really cool plot. Yeah, it's tucked off in the private little area on his own. Yep, and he's using the... Uh, the Cold Knight's uh, fire that you get from Centurio Hunts here. That's got to be a new addition. Nice. He's built some trees into it to make it feel, you know, right there at home and very cozy. A little hole that opens up for the fire. So you don't, you know, create a forest fire. <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he's got a small and here he is. Hi. Hey, Lancaster. How you doing? It's, he does his glamour very well. Yeah, I like it. One, two, three colors. That's what I like. So, okay, wow. So we've got, uh, the corner here's got uh, uh, one room set up. And again, this is a small, but like any good small, no matter where you look, you feel like you're looking at the center of the room. Oh, carbuncle. There's seven carbuncle pieces here. That's a lot of pluses. Yes, it is. He looks like he's still working through his Halloween candy. <laughs> and you can see the way the wallpaper matches the, the primary colors of the room. It's very bright, very open. Yeah, this wallpaper I usually don't like, but he really designed it well to work with the space. Right, so it matches the pillars, it matches the yellow on the carbuncle. He's done the same thing with the pillars that we like to see on smalls, which is to divide the room up in a way that makes it feel longer and hides the full room to make you come back and look at the whole thing. He's got some bookshelves back here to hold his books. He seems like a very learned individual. Yeah. Seems like he does a lot of reading, so we've got... The clock in the small house dead space. The glass walls in the basement. Mm-hmm. And more of the filling down in the basement. You see, wow. Ooh, lots of food. What a spread. That's all of the 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 higher tier level 60 food nice. available for his private consumption before he goes into a dungeon. I like the Mughal chandelier. Yeah. He's got a Mughal chandelier down here that, that brings out... Pretty much all the colors that you'll find down here, the red, the blue, and the yellow. Goes well with the space. Yeah. So again, when you look at any area of the room, it feels like you're looking at the center. Everything is really well decorated. Let's see what's in the back behind the pillar division here. Yeah, more bookshelves. Looks like they really like to uh, make these private sitting rooms. Yes, and I love the manor bookshelves. They're just great with most spaces. <laughs> Looks like he eats while he works we know all about that <laughs> yeah so uh great so what do you give the house um again i'm gonna have to give it an a well how could you not the house is so well decorated i give it a 9.5 this is a fantastic house it really is really great job marquis thanks for putting in the request we really uh appreciate your subscribership and coming and uh uh having us come take a look so thanks for having us over I'm Thea. And I'm Sorik. Don't forget to hit that like button to share this video with the world. And don't forget to subscribe to get more Sorik Rise of videos on your feed.